Greetings and welcome to Dyson Sphere Project. I'm D Gray and today we continue on Let's Play of this awesome game where we are fastly, fastly even approaching the end game. So as you can see to the left, our Dyson Sphere is moving along very nice. We got our power situation sorted last episode. And in between episodes, I've done a bit of testing and expanded out some of our basic productions in terms of materials. In today's episode, I want to get working on our new universe matrix. A universe matrix, because that is one of the last, oh, the last research item we need. So um, I think it's about time we make a somewhat decent setup for that. If you look at the research tree, everything except the mission complete and uh, the last uh, part of Dyson Sphere is made. So uh, while we built our, uh, our new science area, why don't we just start to research this and get uh, that done? Uh, it only takes two minutes if they can supply enough um, resources. But one thing I've noticed is that uh, <laughs> now that it's running so fast, we can't supply enough with, uh, with the belts. They're just not fast enough. We are consuming way more than 30 per second. So, um, yeah, that does mean we'll have to do a new setup afterwards as well. But let's see here. Oh, this one is done. So before we start, uh, <laughs> it wasn't planned right now, what's happening right now. But uh, as you can see, a Dyson Sphere is built in terms of uh, what we have down. So right now we have all the structure points down. We are sending out a massive amount of solar sails to fill them up. We're generating 4 gigawatts of power, all being consumed to make photons and uh, protons and photons. So as soon as the last one is completed here, we will hook up even more. And then we are actually almost done sending out our, uh, our parts for the Dyson Sphere, which is insane compared to how much it needs. Uh, one other thing we did in between episode is that I um, did a bit of research on the power situation and I disabled some of our solar or artificial sun. Because if you see here, right now the load is uh, 60, 68 or 86 even. That means that whatever they are, these are producing, they're only producing the same amount on these two. That means we're wasting about 30% uh, 30 on, uh, on solar and uh, pretty much free power. So, um, yeah, the reason why we're not maxing out is because these have stopped. But then we'll start those again very soon. So that means don't overfill with these. You can put one in as soon as we need it going forward. And that's a good way to do it. Looking at our fuel, we have more than a thousand stored here. We have crafted, so we have a thousand storage. The antimatter is also filling up very nicely because we are producing a lot. Um, so things are going very, very well. If we go up here, just checking out our current setup. I've added in the Graviton Lens to increase the production because we are doing an insane amount of power at the moment. And uh, we need to get it down and these are not good enough. And that's not the kind of power I need. I need this. So the way I've expanded this out, I was showing it last episode as well is that um, I have them going in. They're going out along this line into all of these. And you can see most of them are actually full now. But since we have a surplus of power, about 500 megawatts, let's hook up the rest. You see here, hooking one up, it will jump up from 22 to 100 something. So um, that way we'll spend more and more of our power. I'll just hook this up. And uh, there we are. That's an entire circle up here, just generating it for us. And we're using almost all of what we're producing. But making a ton of photons to generate power. We'll probably do a second row, maybe just up here. Uh, afterwards, since they line up very nicely. And remove a bit of our normal generation of power here. All funneling it back into this one. So uh, that means we are quite good on all the resources we need for the university matrix. So let's find a nice place to set it up. We have most of the things we need here. So um, 
we can easily set up a nice build for it. Do we have any labs? We have 28. Should be more than enough. Uh, for now at least. So let's see, where can we fit it in? Most of this is full. We could remove that. Or we could start it somewhere over here. Let's see, where is the line from the top? Where does it intersect? Let's see, we have it going in right here. Down this way. So why don't we just fill in a bit of this for landfill. Please do this for now. Right here. So we couldn't fully really use this area as the new area to, uh, to produce. That. Let's go get some more. We'll use this area to produce our science. So we can easily expand it out. Doesn't need too much. We could start it up maybe at the same area as the industrial logistics station. Just for the fun of it. But let's just fly down and get some more uh, landfill. Our foundation even. So we can get our science up and running. There we are. Sorry about the mess in my inventory. <laughs> it's always like that. It is quite horrible. So let's see. We are starting about here. What's the line? Let's just get some solar down to mark it out. Just a few. It does need to be a lot just to know where to start. And then what line are we working on over here? To be honest, it doesn't matter too much because one thing I have learned uh, in the last uh, few episodes is that if you just start right here at the edge, it will give us what we need to, uh, to evenly plan it out going down to the south. At least that is what I'm hoping. Let's see here. So if you start by building what we need, and what we need is labs. They probably don't require too much in terms of setup. But if you get a tower down, one, two, three, we start three every time. So right there. It's kind of been a go-to. Then we can fit in the labs as much as we want. And I think we have to notice or note, yeah, notice even. With these ones, is they require six inputs and one output. So we need three and three to make it work. So what if we just do this? We'll go out this way. We'll then get some labs. We can start about here. Not sure how high we should make it. Maybe just to maximum height. Which act? Ooh. How high is max? Is that maximum height? Damn. So what if we just do this? <laughs> we're just missing a few. Um, I think we are making them up here somewhere. <laughs> Let's just check to make sure and grab some more labs. Um, didn't we? Oh, there they are. Let's give me like a few. Seven is more than enough. And let's fill in the rest. So how many is that? You produce university matrix or universe matrix even. I don't know what I call it university. <laughs> it makes no sense. But universe matrix up to that that height. Right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Should also say it in here. If you go into the upgrades, build school lab height, 15. So it means with this stack, we'll produce one per second. That means this is two per second. Damn, we'll need a lot to supply this. But th that is what we're starting with at least. Now to grab all of our things. Oh, we need six inputs. That means we need to have two towers going into this one. Um, let's try this. We'll need the two towers. How close can I place those to each other? If you start here, can I get one somewhere down here as well? There, so that can do three into three, and then we can output it just to one of these two. Yeah, it is needed. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, we could place it right in the middle instead, just for uh, the looks, but yeah. 
not too worried about that. So let's get you in. And then we'll have these going out. Couldn't fear use this for something else on the other side, but uh, that's fine. So let's see, we'll do... You will grab... Maybe they all... No, we can do... No, wait, wait, wait. We'll do this. Let's do this correct. We can do five on this one. So I can do all the science going into this one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three even, because the other two has to go on the other side. So one, two, three. Then we'll have... I was correct what I did before. Don't mind me. I'm just planning out how to do this. So you can go in there. And you'll be a university matrix. There and then. Go the opposite way, it looks a bit cooler. That's one, two, three going out. And then we'll over here have four, five, and then the antimatter. Six. Now to line this up. These ones will take. Well, this will one. Two. And. Right there. Those will have these powering in. Not sure if it's fast enough. We'll find out. And then we'll have three on this side. Or the last three going this way. And three. That seems rather good. Let's hook up these. So there we are. That should power our entire setup. Just give it a bit of power right here and right there. Of course, need some output as well here in the middle, so let's do like that to make it look right there. And the outputs, one per second. One of these should be enough to handle that. So if you go out here and you'll go out there, that will be a nice amount of uh, these running. Let's connect the power lines up somewhere else just to get this going. And let's see where can we connect it up. Right there. The power's this. Let's just request a thousand at a time. You can store a max. That's fine. What if we just do a thousand here for now? Because we have 10,000 stored somewhere else. And you'll just be storage, storage, storage. Here's some drones because you're still going from here. Could also be remote demand if you wanted to, but uh, let's try with this. You'll demand, demand, and demand. And now we just have to go and check up one thing up here. If this this one is set to uh, supply, it's local demand right now. And we have to change all of this to a different color. Look in here. Let's get you going. Research is the last one, because as soon as this one is done, we're done with this color research. That's universe. 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 Yeah. It means you only need one kind of science going forward, and it means we can shift out all of the all the science from up here. As soon as it's done, at least. And then we can uh, continue very nicely. Well, let's get the setup done first, then we can look at the... Uh, it needs to run afterwards. Or at least just producing a few. Might not want it to go too fast since this research is not done yet. So... Let's just say storage, storage, storage. Thousand... 
I'll consume two per second, so we have about nine, nine and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes worth of uh, supply right here. Power line to connect you up. Let's start by local demand, local demand, and local demand. This one should go out right away. And the rest will uh, slowly fill in. And these will work if we do this right away and I'll consume a small amount. But uh, I want to get this done as well before that happens. So let's just um, wait with this one for a second until it's done up here. I think we have enough of most other things. Oh, storage and storage just for a second because I think those were the two we're missing. That will be a white science setup. This one is going. We require many things. And let's just check if things are running as intended. Otherwise, we're good. But what is our current setup missing? Let's fly this way. So all the greens are running as fast as possible. Always add in more to increase the speed. Or maybe just increase the height. Let's grab some more laps and get this to run full speed. Because so far it's not an issue of us lacking resources, it's just an issue of us not producing it fast enough. At least that's what it looks like so far. Let's get that. Might be too many, but we'll find out. Can't fit any more. Oh, that's all of them. And this one is chucking along very nicely. Let's increase the small amounts. You can just have a thousand instead going in. And then we don't like that at least. So that is running. Let's check the other sciences. Here is our purple. Uh, let's see. And if some of you are seeing a bit of stutter, it is the FPS that's starting to lag a bit in my base since so much is going on. Are you looking towards the inputs? Got a bit more as well. Just hoping we have enough to supply it all. Might be lacking processing our processes. But uh, that is something we'll look at a bit later. Because I have been expanding it out, but it doesn't seem like it's enough yet. There we go. Let's hope the inputs can handle it all. You can crest a bit more, and you can as well. To make you run full speed, way more. We have a nice supply of that, except this one. Something we'll have to set up at uh, another planet, because all we have at the moment is this little setup. Oh, that actually is running. It's just... Oh, is it running too fast? Whoops. How many are you producing per second? A hundred and... So you can supply 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Do so we have to split this into two lines? Somehow I have completely forgotten that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So... And just get used to do this, please. That should double our production of these, quite simply by doing that. Now things are outputting, this should output constantly, run full speed. So look at that, much better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be two full belts going in if you look at the production. Let's go down a bit. And we have them right here. That's 1800, that's 25, so that is... It should be about 26. So that is actually quite good. 
So we'll have to do a bigger setup at some point of this, but uh, I won't be right now. These are running full speed. You are just lacking something you shouldn't lack. <laughs> just because we haven't increased the... Of course, since the start of the game, we haven't increased the throughput of these. But uh, that's something we'll have to look at going forward. Well, that means that is going. What we also need to do, now that we have it researched, is uh, to expand up more of a Dyson Sphere. That's just processes. So let's build the rest. Right now we have nothing building here, other than the solar sails going in at a nice steady rate. Look at this one. We can now go all the way to here, only requiring the last one. So let's build it in. Want things to run, so right now I'm just doing some of the corners. Oh, we can't apply it there. Can you? Oh, that's annoying. Why would it make like this and then it doesn't fit? Can we do every second one then instead? Instead of this one, we'll skip one and go to the one over. And then do that, or we can actually go, or we can go three at a time here. Let's do this instead then. Then you'll go to, go way further, but let's do three. So that'd be one big grid, can you fill it in? We can, perfect. So we'll do maximum range on you, being here, here and here. Let's do that. Oh, it's gonna look so cool when it's done. Let's go to here, here, and here. And I keep forgetting this is just uh, helping. It doesn't need to be actually followed a one to one. Look at that. It lines up perfectly like that. That's perfect. That's perfect. And we have the wrist. Could do these in larger grids as well. Now these are already filled in, so... Oh, wait. Why am I in conflict? That might actually be bad. We can start here, but we can't go into that one. Mm. Then we probably just need... To oh, wait, we can just do this, can't we? How will it handle if we do this? Can I fill in one of these? No. I will have to... Oh, oh wait, we can't. Never mind. So that's fine. Oh, all of these actually fit, fits in already. We just need a small amount right here to line it up. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll have some bigger nodes here at the top. We'll just follow these to get it filled. It's gonna look so good. Then you can fit those. That one, and then we can have one giant one at the top. They'll have to do the same at the bottom. Where did it start to make it look symmetrical? So right on this one. You'll go two points up. You'll go from here to here to there. Then you'll go maximum range on all of these. Just like that. Oh, this is gonna look so good when it's done. And right here, and... There. And then the last one over here. There we are. That is a nice Dyson Sphere setup. Then we just need to get you hooked up. You're fine. There. Here. And guys, how much do you think it's gonna generate when it's full? I think it's gonna be quite it's gonna be quite a lot. But that is everything we need uh, for this to run. So let's set it back to run game. Let's see here. Now we'll soon see over here 12 new launching. 
at least we should do in just a second. There we are. 12 rockets, or 14, how many we are, uh, going out to space. Look at that. That's going to fill in the rest. So that's going to tax our power as well. Look at that. Now we are actually using what we are supposed to. And the base is, is trying to keep up. Building everything we need. So, uh, so that's very nice. So we've set up the university matrix. Universe matrix. And uh, things are looking good. Green is being produced. We are researching the last few things. Before it just needs to be funneled into uh, the last science. And should we set up... Um, what are we seriously lacking at the moment? I think green circuits. We are just keeping up with the, what we need. Barely. And the rest is also looking quite good. This is just because production. Electric motors are fine. Coils are good. Mags are fine as well. Nothing really looking too bad. Time glass, glass has gone down. But one thing we could check out is our processes. Because right now we have this setup here going. And we could in theory hook up a third one. Oh, that is actually missing circuit boards. So, you know what? Let's go to our factory world and hook one of these up. Then I'll also show you what we've been doing there. And it is... Uh, Remote demand as well for when we build it. Of course, max, so we can get it flown in. And then let's then let's show you what we have built. Do we have what we need to set up a new production area? We have 50 some. I'll get a few more. Then get some belts. And uh, also say thank you. And then we'll set up everything we need. So the throughput on them. They will need ooh, two per second, so we might have to go with at least blue or green for the iron. Copper is not as important. Let's get some more belts. Let's get a few of you. Could also just do blue for all of them. Uh, let's get some more assembly machines. And I think that is good to go for now. Let's go and jump, uh, drop off some of this thing we have in surplus that's filling up our inventory. Then we'll do a flyby of the Dyson Sphere. Do comment what you think about that, because that is something I'm very pleased with. You can go there, and you can go there. And uh, guys, prepare to be amazed of our... Uh, See, the Dyson Sphere is right there, looking very good. Right now we're going to Lazar, Lazar 1. Uh, normally I warp, but I just want to fly here so you can see the Dyson Sphere in all its glory. Look at the sails. Just streaming in, there goes the rockets. We have an insane amount of transportation going on around the world, so if you see here. Look how many ships we have flying around, it's very, very good. And... Uh, from this planet, this Dyson Sphere looks insane. So look at this. <laughs> oh, the size just makes me giddy watching these. Oh, it's so good. Power-wise, we're also doing very good here. Pretty much as good as our main world. Pretty much because of all our solar. They're generating an insane amount here. So let's go and look at our production area. Look at this. A few things has happened since last time. Here is some of our cars. You've seen that before. Here is all of our iron, all of our copper, all of our nanotubes. Even more here because it wasn't keeping up. Look up here. We also have a nice setup over here for these. That was lacking as well. Titanium glass. Anything else we've built in the meantime? We have a nice big setup back here as well. 
just getting resources in from all over the universe. Let's see. There we are. Oh, it's the one we saw before. I, th I thought we have more. Oh, well, it might be somewhere else. But we have some massive uh, construction going on. Oh, yeah, this was our second uh, our diamond, our titanium ones, our titanium build, and uh, deuterium. This is pretty much what we're rocking at the moment. Now I'll have to set up the next part, which will be um, our green circuits. This is pretty much my factory planet. I'll do a tour of it at some point if you want. But uh, that'll be good. Two sec, let's see if it's something has frozen. Okay, hopefully everything was uh, captured there. I did have my OBS freeze on me, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully, otherwise I'll have to do a bit of uh, editing. But see, let's place this down now. Fill in all of this and let's maybe not do it here, maybe start at the corner. That has been the best way to do it so far. Doing it inside uh, these. So, you require two iron one second. You do 90 cycles per minute. So we can support 10. That is pretty much what we have uh, done so far. And we know if we have copper in the middle, that can supply two of them. But uh, let's not worry too much about that. So three lines. That means we do four rows of these because we have 10 input lines. So let's just hook that up for now. One, two, three will start here. Then you'll go from over here somewhere. Let's see. There. Then we'll have iron and copper. We'll have an output line. Oh, let's remember the output as well. If you do nine, then you can output for 10. You can't do more than 10 in a row, and that's pretty much what this can supply. So that's actually not too much. That means we, doesn't, we don't need to double it like this because the input and the output is about the same. So let's do this. Do one here. You will make our green circuits. That means we'll have another input line going over here that way. Actually, we'll have two. Then we'll do one more and that will be the same as that one. So let's just hook up the inputs. Right now I'm using the fast oh, the copy um, output setup. Let's see how far down do we need to go to fit in 10. We'll do four at a time. One, two, three, four. Then we'll do one of you. One, two, three, four, then one more power line. Then we just need to hook up two more to consume everything. Then we'll see, then you'll be, you'll go down to here. And hopefully that was enough space we gave him. And then one, two. This is gonna be the length of our setup. That's gonna give us a full belt of um, green circuits going out. That's actually insane. Then we'll do the same over here. We'll do four of these. I just want to ma maximize it all. We'll do one, two. There we go, one out. That's one, two, three. That's nine lines. We'll do two in. One, two. One of you and one out. So that's pretty much all we can support with one logistics tower. So one, two. Ooh, that was a bit close. That's fine. We just lined up somewhere. It's not too bad. Just lined free up like this. 
and I might just want to do it. What if we do it right here? I think that'll be fine. Okay, so you'll go in. You will output. Let's set it up. You will output green circuits, input iron and copper. You'll just be storage and storage since this is on the planet at the moment and all the production will be here. You'll be demand and demands. Here are some drones for you when you'll start to work. Then we just need to fill in these. So let's see. One, two, three. You'll be copper. You'll be iron. You'll be an input. You'll be copper. You'll be iron. And you'll be an input. And over here, you'll be iron, because you're on the inside. That's not iron. You'll be iron. You'll be copper, and you'll be an input. And then we need the last two. The first one here will be iron. Since that will be on the inside, we'll do the copper right here. And I'll show you the beauty of this uh, if you didn't notice already. It is so good having uh, the auto placing of uh, salters. So it makes your life a hundred times easier. Look at that, one full belt. Going into here, at some point it will start to get requested. That will fill up with power. I feel like, look at that. And then we'll fill in all of these to make sure all of this is running full speed and we don't have to look at it for a while. And then we'll do an output from there. We'll do an in. In. And uh, out. In. Oh, did not mean to do that. And the last one out from over here. There we are. That is a mighty fine setup we're running. Let's just get the power poles down. Four. There we are. And then we just need to fit in the rest of these. Which luckily is uh, is very very easy to do when you've done the setup correctly. Look at that! It's already being requested from uh, off world. Kind of want to add in these a hundred towards local demands because we have one tower expanding all of this. So let's fill in the rest of these. Oh wait, we can't yet. We do miss the output. I'll just hook you up before we copy paste it. There we are. Now we can go. Just go into guard mode. That is a bit faster. Don't wanna know what I did right there. Oh wait, did we misalign something? Huh, that's weird. Ah, it's because of uh, the curvature. We might be able to fit in a bit more. But yeah, I installed the mod that makes uh, the dust so I can press one button to shift between guard modes. It is insanely good and uh, very, very needed. We don't have to go into... Uh... The options every time I have to switch to this. And here we are. This will pretty much be all we can supply with one tower. And look at this. 
We are producing so much and it's all getting requests already back at the, the home base. There we are, have some vessels in case you want to send some out. Or grab some from somewhere else. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much how I want to do one of these setups. And uh, pretty much how I've been doing uh, the entire expansion of all of this to get things going. Probably wise, these can easily keep up since the travel distance is not too far. And uh, yeah, now we just have these green ships going back to our main world. At. <laughs> Wow, that is an insane amount of traffic. So now that that is running, I'm not quite sure what our next bottleneck is. Um, I'll just fly back to our main world and end the episode there while we watch uh, the beauty of this one. We'll just have to go through it. God, look at that. Since it's one U away, I kind of just want to, uh, to warp there. It's been something I've been doing more and more. And it's very nice. Look at the Dyson Sphere, it's so good. Oh, let's not go too far. <laughs> Look at that amount of things going and launching all the time. Going in here. Holy moly, that looks so good but if you just look at the processes now as the last thing that should be running full speed now look at that it has all the green circuits needs has all these needs so um yeah might hook up no, one two three four five so don't have room for a second one this one was the maximum room we can get out of one of these towers we'll add in a second one if we want one more row but looking at the production, how much has it increased to? The last hour is 800. Right now we're going at 1500. Last minute, 2000 per minute sustained. That is uh, pretty much what we are we're going with. So um, I'll end the episode on a high note. This is almost done. We are producing a ton of these. They are being converted into all manner of things over here to get our quantum chips as well. So, um, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I will start to stream this on Twitch, um, the building in between. I might have done it a few times now since I am a bit ahead in, uh, in recording. But uh, go uh, subscribe to me on Twitch or follow me on Twitch as well if you want to see more. And I might also stream it on YouTube. Do comment what you want to see. Maybe both. It could be fine. So, um, with that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, like I said, remember to like, subscribe. Helps me a ton. Join us on Discord. And then I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.